how to test for shore power or generator power to make sure it's working correctly. If you look at this diagram, this is typically how we hook up the inverters. So instead of your shore power connecting directly to your electrical panel, your shore power now connects directly to your inverter and then goes to your electrical panel. That way everything is powered on your electrical panel by your batteries when it's on inverter mode and when it's on shore power, power will pass through the inverter to your loads like the microwave and outlets and also the inverter will turn into a battery charger and start charging the batteries as well. Now when we're testing for shore power, what we're testing for is that the input of the inverter is receiving 120 volts from the shore power. There is usually no breakers or anything between the shore power cord and the inverter input. So if we're not getting 120 volts at the input, that tells us that shore power is not reaching the input. So there could be an issue with the shore power, whether it be a trip breaker at the shore power, a bad adapter, a bad connection, a bad plug, it could be any of those things. It could also be that the surge guard is not letting power pass through. Now if you have a built-in generator, you might also have an automatic transfer switch in between the shore power and the inverter. And what this automatic transfer switch does, it chooses the active source of power, whether the shore power or generator, and then it passes power through the transfer switch to the inverter and then to your electrical panel. These switches can fail, and if they do, they usually get stuck on one side or the other. So it might work on shore power and not on generator, or vice versa. One thing to always check is that the breaker on the generator is turned on and not tripped. It's usually on the generator itself. If it is off or tripped, the generator will turn on, but it would not send power to the inverter. So if you look at your touch 50 monitor, this red box represents shore power and should turn on whenever you have a generator or plug in the shore power. Now, if you go to your device list, click on the settings and click on the multi plus, and this will pull up the settings on the inverter. And if you look here and you scroll down, it'll say AC in line one and AC out line one. So AC in line one is when you're looking for 120 volts on shore power or generator power. Right now we're not plugged into anything so it says zero volts. But if we're plugged into shore power or running a gen and it says zero volts, that means shore power is not reaching the inverter. And that's when you need to start working backwards to see if it's your transfer switch that's not working, if it's your generator breaker trip, if it's a bad shore power connection or a bad adapter, if it's your surge guard giving you issues, start working backwards until you see this read 120 volts. Now if you look at AC out here at the bottom, this is how you can tell the inverter is putting out power. So whenever you're on shore power, inverter power, or gen power, it should all say 120. Unless you have the inverter off, then it'll say zero. So that's how you troubleshoot to see if your AC input and AC output is working. When it's working like it's supposed to, you see your shore power box pop up here with some wattage coming in. And you can see wattage going from the shore power to the inverter and into your AC loads. And then if you follow the dots down here, it goes to your battery. So that indicates that it's charging the battery. So that's working like it's supposed to and everything's looking good.